my body. Dila. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new episode of Beat the Weekend. So, why? We are here, or are you here? Why? I don't know, tell me. I don't know. <laughs> we are at the Venice airport and we are flying to... To? Barcelona. <laughs> Barcelona. <laughs> it's gonna be fun, so join us. <laughs> so we are trying to reach the city center by bus. The, yeah, by bus. And the sun is super, super strong today. We are staying three days here in Barcelona and tomorrow will be my birthday. We will visit many monuments and we will also shop for vintage clothes in six different stores. As soon as we jumped off the bus, we found the first one that is Humana Vintage. Everything for three euros. Okay, so it's gonna be a five minutes challenge. We only have five minutes here in Humana Vintage. The shop is very crowded because it's the first day of the sales season. I'm looking for a vintage souvenir from Barcelona, something that will remind me about this colored and festive city. This vintage dress is by Louis Ferro, made of silk. This would cost over 100 euros in a vintage boutique, but it's too big for me, so I'm leaving it behind for somebody else. Let me see the trousers. I'm looking for colors and prints. Oh, stop everybody. Do you see what I see? Vintage jeans by United Colors of Benetton. I've got to try them on. They are so cute. So cute, uh, yeah, cute. they are too tight here. Really? Yes. Ah, non sembrano tanto stretti. Non sembrano tanto stretti. Uh, forse perché hai mangiato una brioche da 6 kg. <laughs> forse per quello. No? And this is my outfit for today. Everything is thrifted. I have this orange top and the green shorts that I showed you in one of my last videos. We're going to visit other shops this afternoon. And now let's have a walk on the main streets of Barcelona. Hi everyone, we are going to see Gaudi houses. Gaudi's houses. Join it with us. <laughs> okay guys, so Fabiano is doing a great job improving his English and I know that he's doing it because he wants to participate more to these vlogs and I truly appreciate it. I hope you'll appreciate it too. Hermes, Fendi, then we have Versace, and on the other side of the street uh, there's uh, Casa Milà, also called La Pedrera by Anthony Gaudí. We have Dolce and Gabbana. And I absolutely love this dress. I've got to find something similar, second hand. In alto, tu? Vorrei un ufficio lì in alto? Assolutamente sì, in quella torre lì, quello va benissimo. <laughs> this is the Casa delle Spunxes. Beautiful. Look at the windows of this palace. Oh my gosh like a giant Tiffany lamp. Ah, it's a pagallini, you saw it? It's a pagallini. Oh, 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 o
Here we are in front of this beautiful house designed by Gaudí and completed in 1885. With such a unique facade, I really can't wait to see how it is inside, so come along with us. Well, this trip um, is a gift from my husband, here, from you, <laughs> for my birthday that will be tomorrow. And I'm very, very happy. Mm. Yes. <laughs> This was the very first house that Gaudí designed. He was a very imaginative architect. He proposed some of the elements that then became typical of the Catalan modernism, such as the inspiration to nature and the use of decorative tiles. And the backyard is very Instagrammable. Thank you. Oh. I think uh, it is a very pretty house uh, and strange and so different uh, from everything else. From everything else. Yes. And this is a very fresh area because the air is passing here and then there's the fountain and the water. Also, the, 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 the pictures are fresh with flowers. Can I have this? Maholika at home. Please. No. Why not? Because we are we are, we are poor. No. <laughs> because we are poor. Not only. We are not a goatee. Ah. Look, it matches. Look my scarf. Yeah. It was not intentional. I swear it. Small private oriental oasis. Guys, also the bathroom is so wonderful. We are up on the rooftop. We are always mm. looking for shadowy places. <laughs> well, Casa Vicenza was wonderful and tomorrow we have planned to visit another house by Gaudí. We are surrounded by beautiful palaces. We've got many things in program, of course. We're going to go vintage shopping. Uh, we are going to visit the Park Way. Uh, yeah, many things. Many. So <laughs> stay with us. Hola. Look at Leve. Beautiful building. I like the bag. We have found this uh, arts and crafts uh, mm, little market and uh, it's always useful to see what they are selling because I can see, you know, the typical materials and fabrics uh, that they use in this area. Like, oh, ceramics, soaps, Tiffany inspired lamps. Happy husband <laughs> with the gelato. In Italy is bad. Ah, yes. We have found this covered shopping area. It's a very special one because it's mostly dedicated to costume shops and games shops. This is all dedicated to Harry Potter. <laughs> you can also choose your magic wand, or better, it's the magic wand that chooses you. The Barrio Gotico is the oldest part of the city. It's beautiful but very touristic and there are cool shops. There are many vintage shops in town, but this is a kilo sale and the price is 49 euros per kilo of clothes. 
This is definitely the most expensive kilo sale I've ever been to. I love vintage clothes in general, but I'm always looking for pieces that I can really wear in my everyday life. I want them to be special, but also wearable. This is a shirt by Ralph Lauren. Well, it was cropped. And I've seen this also in a vintage shop in Milan. Cropped shirts are very fashionable these days. And in this shop, the shorter the shirt, the less you pay for it. Here you can also find matching sets. This was made from a single shirt. This is a good idea, you can also do it with an old oversized shirt. If you know how to sew, this is a cool DIY project for you. Oh, this is so nice for you, with the cars. I think it's too big for me. Really? Too big? Really too big. Oh, it's so cute. not really my style, I have to say this. <laughs> it's like uh, Ghostbusters. Blue Goose, another vintage store. Italian designs. <laughs> well, let's see what we can find. I love utility jackets. I have a pair of dresses, but I still don't have a jacket. These are contemporary pieces. This one by Danny Rose is 65 euros, but there are discounts, so keep it in mind when I tell you the prices. Cool floral pants by Richmond, 45 euros. These are Trussardi jeans, basic white long jeans, but they have a very light crocodile print, 25 euros. This pink linen dress is cute and the barbecue is a new trend now, but it's missing the belt. They also have accessories. I like those sunglasses. I'm in a sunglasses moment. And then they also have luxury brands. There is also an interesting male section. I love this true leather jacket by Replay, but it's not Fabiana's size. Small leather jackets are an item that you will rarely find at the kilo shops or at Humana Vintage. And here there is also a high concentration of high-end pieces. Of course, the prices are a bit higher, but the quality is very good. I like this leather jacket by Replay, 40 euros is a good price, but this is an extra small and I am a small. Even if my husband likes it, I really can't close the buttons, so I'm leaving it behind. Cosa hai trovato? Qual è l'oggetto del desiderio? Seiko. While Fabiano is examining his next watch, let's have a look to this last section. I like this skirt so much, but I don't like the price. I spotted this crossbody bag with fringes, so cool, it's made of suede leather. The brand is Camayo, that is fast fashion, but 15 euros is a good price and I really love the shape and color. We can cross that bridge. What's that? It's a numeral? Uno 
opera d'arte. And as you can see, we are not the only ones who want to have a walk on this bridge. They are men, but they are still children inside. How was it? Right. So much. Carino? Quite good. Okay, so here you can find uh, fast fashion shops, but there's a restaurant over there and we are going there. È molto carino anche dentro. Hola Lola. Lolita. Well, this is time for dinner. We have tapas, uh, paella. Here we have fresh fish or meat. He is waiting for dinner too. <laughs> we have a fried a octopus. octopus. <laughs> Micro octopus. So tonight we are going to spend a little bit more. We are going to celebrate my birthday and I'm offering dinner. Oh, very good. Very this good. is a good news. <laughs> so I chose uh, uh, salmon and uh, Fabiano chose uh, meat fillet. So yeah, enjoy your meal. This is all for today and uh, we will see you tomorrow morning. Bye. Bye. We booked uh, our visit to the Casa Bacchio and uh, we are, I think, 10 minutes late. We are still on the bus. Here we are. Welcome to the Casa Bacchio by Antoni Gaudi, also called the House of the Bones because of his very sculptural facade. It was built in 1907 and it is a majestic example of Catalan modernism. This is much more crowded than the Casa Vicens that we visited yesterday, so I will try to zoom on the design elements that I like best. This room is all inspired to the shapes of the natural elements of the sea, so waves, bubbles, shells and corals. It's like a fairy house and every single detail is studied and designed by Gaudí. Out in the courtyard there are two big mirrors on the floor, they are windows for the underground floor, and then big sculptural elements, all covered with the typical trencadis, special decoration made with fragments of glass or maholica. Gaudí also designed some special tricks to regulate the fresh air flows, in fact here the temperature is much cooler than outside, there's no need for air conditioning. In this room there is a reproduction of a beautiful living room of the beginning of the 20th century. I love Art Nouveau style, so I'm going to show you some of the pieces that I like best. market. Can we have a living room like this one? No? It's a bit too crowded, but anyway. What's at the bed? It's beautiful. Look at the pillows.
as I told you, the house is inspired to the sea. And look at this glass effect. It's genius, isn't it? Stai facendo il pesce? We should have come here in the evening because imagine it with all the lights. And from here you can see all the city. This is the most visited monument of Spain, one of the best examples of the Catalan modernism. And as all the main religious buildings of the world, the construction is requiring a lot of time, around 150 years. So this is the actual situation, they are still building it and uh, if I'm not wrong they are going to complete it in uh, 2026. <laughs> Cosa con Mini? We are very hungry and we would like to try a typical Spanish product, the jamón ibérico, a kind of high quality Spanish ham, you can see it here on the left, and of course inside this panino. Uh, we are going to, to visit Park Güell, or Gil, or Guay. 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 <laughs> How's the climate today? Okay, very hot. Very hot. Hot and sunny. So, after another search, because I'm really... Mm, very good. Okay. Um, I'm really you intelligent. Want to, you want to be precise? The real pronunciation... I forgot it. <laughs> Is Park Guelle. Well, yeah. It was not easy, not easy not to well, guess. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. È un miraggio. Guarda. Oh, so refreshing. Look. Is this street so steep? Che vedina. No. Oh. Sì. No, so much. Non sono stanca. Oh. oh, so cool. Having a rest. This is truly the best birthday ever, and I'm happy to share this adventure with you. This park is really special and original. Gaudi created a unique world made with new shapes and colors and materials. And I believe this will inspire me to be more daring, for example, in the decoration of my house or in the way I dress. And I encourage you to do the same. Just be imaginative, like Gaudi.
reach the top of the hill. We are right in front of the Santa Caterina market and we have one Humana Vintage on that side and another one is over there everything for three euros something like that this one seems more like a boutique so I'm gonna try this one I abandoned Fabiano on a bench he was very tired Okay, here everything is 60% off, but here on these first racks I can only see sportswear, which today I'm not really interested in. The denim rack, here we have a vest by Lacoste for 17 euros, discounted to around 7 euros, that's a great price. I like these colored applications on denim shirts and jackets, maybe it's the influence of Gaudi's architectures. This shirt was 10 euros discounted to 4 euros. Now I'm looking through the men's section for an oversized shirt because I want to buy one and give it to my mom so she can crop it and make one of those cute shirt and skirt sets for me. <laughs> this one is by Levi's, it has nice colors but I'm not sure that I want to crop it. Nice skirt discounted to 6 euros and 40. And this one is discounted to 5 euros and 40. scarves are all cute and the prices were already very good also without the discount but I'd like to find the silk one for my collection and here I can't find any this one is by Fiorini that is a vintage Italian brand I can't really read the price de les nostres fantàstiques ofertes. Avui tot al 60%. Here we have many cool printed shirts. This one has very vibrant colors. Um, and some of them are vintage, but only a few, I should say. And then, guys, let me show you this amazing blazer by Valentino Garavani that I ended up not buying because it's not my size, but it was 70 euros discounted to 28 euros. And it could have been a very good piece to resell. The first shop was okay, but I wasn't really able to find something really special. Uh, so I'm going to the second one, the one with uh, 3 euros for everything. So let's hope to find something. These shoes are beautiful. They are made in Spain, true leather, a little too big for me, but very nice. I like this skirt, but I'm looking for good quality fabrics. And this one seems so-so. Mm, In this shop, I'm seeing many fast fashion pieces with a lower quality. And here I spotted this cute vintage jacket. It looks like a kimono. It's three euros, of course. It's made of a cotton and viscose blend. Uh, it sounds really good. And what about this kind of long knitted cardigan? The brand is Joy. Uh, let's do a little try on. The jacket is very big, but I can wear it with a belt. I like it and I think it has so much potential. Quick switch, the cardigan is too special and I can't wait to style some new outfits with it. So it's definitely coming home with us. Oh, there's actually another one. 
This shop is closing in like three minutes, but it's worth having a look, right? I spotted this silk scarf. Here you can read Hotels Catalonia. So it's a Spanish one and it's also signed Marco Pascali. The discounted price should be 3 euros 20. Last minute find these denim wide leg trousers discounted to 5 euros and 40. Basic, comfortable, perfect. I have done a bit of shopping. You can carry it for me, please. <laughs> Do I have your approbation? Maybe. Maybe. This evening we need to eat something more ordinary for us, like pasta. Fabiano chose fettuccine with ragù and stracciatella, that is a kind of Italian cheese, and I chose pasta with pesto and stracciatella. As we are Italian, we are very demanding when it comes to pasta and as you can see, Fabiano is not very happy with his choice. And tomorrow will be the last day. Well, tomorrow we are visiting the biggest flea market, the antiques market of Barcelona. We are very excited, but I guess you'll see this in the next video, in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content like this one. Bye. Thank <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank Arara. you! Thank you everybody for celebrating my birthday with me! Don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video! <laughs> to help my channel grow! Cos'hai uh, fatto? The channel grow! <laughs> we are very tired! <laughs> Let's go to bed! Good night guys! Good Bye. night! See you!